spooky and uh, you guys are watching next level battle circuit this is the online edition uh, i'm sorry you're only gonna get spooky commentary today but at least you're gonna get birthday spooky commentary today hopefully that gives me some kind of power up or something like that we'll see what happens uh well, you, you think it's wild if i don't win this nobc too i think it's more like likely he's actually pretty good in online tournaments also hmm yeah, that's what uh, Vin says. He was born online, which is true. I think he's really good at online tournaments. So I think that he'll do well at this. Uh, the Bro Incognito and Crabmeister. Thank you very much for the invites. All right, cool. So I'm going to try to get these home. Dude, I can copy paste. This is the best. I can literally go. Does this really let me copy paste? Because this would be incredible. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't let me go that far. That would be sick. That would I would definitely be like, yo, PC SAV. Actually, PC SAV is still kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. All right, so we got you. Yeah, I got it. Mm -hmm. And we got... So the first match, uh, if I did this correctly, the first match should be Desnair uh, versus... No, if I did this right, it should be Desnair versus OG Yon. OG Yon versus Desnair. And bracket-wise, let's see where this is in the bracket. Yon versus Desnair. Uh, this is actually winner's round one, so I might as well write this in. It's not pool style this time. It's just going to be round one winners. Let's get some names in here. OG Yawn and Desnair. Hopefully they got my invites. If they didn't, I'll do it all over again, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, no problem, Shanks. Thank you for being here, bro. I appreciate it. Anyway, hopefully I did that right. If I did it wrong, I guess they will let me know. Actually, it's a little early, to be fair. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's like, oh, it's not 8 o'clock yet. Whoops. No, I don't want to leave the lounge. No. That's the worst thing I could do. Why would I do that? Coronavirus got NLBC. Coronavirus got everyone in Pasta Brew. That's just how it is. It's not like one particular thing that has gotten owned. It's like everything has gotten owned. Uh, thank you, MQS. I appreciate it. Anyway, I'm going to try to... Let's see. Why? Invite. Uh, X. Answer fighter ID. It should be... Let's see if I did this right. OG. Yes, I do. Please. And I also want to put in... Yes. Did that work? I hope it worked. If it didn't work, I'm going to crowd. There we go. All right. That's one. We got one out of two. One out of two ain't bad. Let's try to get the other one. All right. We might be doing it, boys. We might We might. We might have figured it out. We might actually have a tournament. I can't believe it. So we just need the homie Desnair. Uh, yes, it's already set for two out of three games. So we just need Desnair with any luck. Uh, Desnair, is he up in here? Here, let me just message real quick. Dun, 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 Let's try again. Sub menu. Oh, I got to tap over. Damn, 
Yes. Hopefully that works. Come on, I want to see a match. I, I must see blood. Okay, I just enough enough coronavirus and not being able to go outside and staying away six feet from people. I must see blood. Where are you, Desnair? We must fight for my entertainment right now. <laughs> is that the? I don't even know what flag that is. That's John does whatever he wants. That's what that flag is. <laughs> Ivory Coast. <laughs> All right, props. Respect. Desnair, where are you, Desnair? I want to see this match. I must see blood. Thank you, Dat Poner, by the way. Thanks a lot for giving away mad gift subs. Yes, exactly, Carter62. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Again, Dat Poner, thank you very much. He gave away five gift subs just now. Damn, that's actually OD. Thank you, bro. Very kind of you. Hell yeah. Woo, damn. Even 56K Modem got one. The, the Grand Blue Overlord, he got one. That's nice. Thank you, bro, once again. Very kind of you. Trust me, I greatly appreciate it. It'll be a nice little birthday gift for me in my pocket. Thanks, bro. Desnair, where you at? Come on, it's 8 o'clock. I'm ready. This is just like the real NOBC. <laughs> People just disappear. Where'd you go? <laughs> yes, we did it. Woo! We did it. All right, now I'm ready. My blood's pumping. I'm ready for a match. Thank you. Once again, thanks for all the subs, bro. I do appreciate it. That Poner, thank you, Sabin Deuce. Uh, that Poner, for real, though, that was extremely gracious of you. Thank you, Venom Bite, also, who's one of the original OG subs. 94 motherfucking Aeons. 94 Aeons. Oh, wait, did I ready up? No, I don't want to ready up. Uh, God, I need to unready up. How do I do that? No, I don't want to leave the lounge. Uh, oh, start is to ready? I don't want to press start. All right, cool. Wow, Venom Bite. Woo! Thank you, bro. Extremely gracious of you. So I think we can start, fellas. Uh, maybe I should let them know that they can start so that they know somehow because otherwise everybody's going to be confuzzled. But yeah, I believe Yawn and Desnair, if you guys are ready, you can begin. Uh, hopefully I'm not the one that's messing everything up somehow. I'm not carrying the stream single-handedly. Trust me, there's a whole staff making this work right now. I would not be able to do this by myself. All right, so it will be a two out of three set. Hopefully, I have set the lobby correctly. I do recall setting it to two out of three. I'm going to get the hell out of the way. And now it's going to be Desnair versus OG on. Good luck, guys. Shout out to both players. Let's see how they do tonight. It's round one winner's bracket. I'm the spectator because I'm free. All I do is I spectate. Anyway, thank you, Be Excellent to you. Thank you, Low Drag. Thank you, Super Manja, Ten of Clubs, OG On, who's also in the match, Cholestrix. Thank you, Ringe, with the 69. That's the perfect number. Thank you, Ringe. Looks like we're ready to go. <laughs> Professional spectator. <laughs> that sounds about right. Anime. We even get the advertisements. That's so official. I tried to figure out how to turn it off, but I'm too free. Is there even a way to turn them off anymore? Who knows? Round one. All right, so it's game number one. Yon's on player one side is Laura and Desnair player two side. He's playing Zeku. And uh, actually, this matchup is kind of weird. Uh, I think uh, for the Zeku player, because command grabs are mad annoying if you're Zeku. Nope. Good trade actually by Yon, but it wasn't enough. And now Desnair has a little bit of pressure. He's in. Ouch, that hurts. Welcome to the corner. <laughs> Mashing out like a madman. I don't want to eat any mix up. Nice double stance switch. That was sick. You go to the corner, my friend. I got new stuff. I got the trigger two and a V skill two. I love the tag. Legion of Strider. That's actually mad cool. Oof, eat it. 
your feet. Okay. Nice combo. Mix. Wow, that was a that was not a cross up. That was OD. Good blocks by Yon, by the way. Set up. That was oh, that was disgusting. <laughs> Which way am I going to go? All right. So Yon took the first round. Both players showed a lot of what they could do already. Ouch! That was a nice whip punish. That was sick. Oh, your your dome piece. Oh no. Oh again. Oh, he tried the uppercut and he got ex slash. <laughs> Lucky break though. Uh, OG on respected it, probably expecting an uppercut or something like that. Cross counter slide. Woo, the mix. That trigger is mad weird. What has happened? Smoke and mirrors. Ninja dogs. Okay. There's actually a player named Ninja Dogs, by the way. He plays Tekken. Oh my goodness. No, you go to the corner. He had to spend an EX, but got a nice knockdown setup. Pressure time. Ooh. Ouch. You want to try the anti-air, but uh, I don't think that you can use the medium that way when he goes for the corner flip. And now Destiny also looking good. Nice. He he came out swinging at the start, but Yawn right back at you. Man, that crush counter took a grip. <laughs> Look at it. Did you see the difference between Desner's life and Yon's life? <laughs> that was crazy. Ouch. Nice neutral jump. That was the right time for that. Stand switch tricks. Okay. My turn. I got tricks too. Actually, Yon, uh, not, not to give up any of his gameplay, he hasn't really been utilizing. Oh, that was nice. Okay. Still living. Ah, the range on the towards medium punch. And Yon did not get to use all of that delicious meter or that delicious V trigger. Very nice. All right, so Desnair takes game number one. It is a two out of three set. He's throwing weasels? Is that what he's throwing? Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Because Zeku's weird and has weird pets, right? Anyway, it looks like they're going to continue on. Uh, the only thing I was going to say that that uh, Yon didn't really get started is he didn't really get any of his throw pressure started. He got a lot of his frame traps going and things like that. Okay, that was a nice sling. Okay, oh, that was, that was fugly. Oh. <laughs> Yo, the weasel kick. <laughs> Eat it. I'm tired of your nonsense. I don't know what you're doing. Good backdash, Desner. Crush. Okay. Keeping it simple into a reset. Man, that reset hurts. Oh, your dope piece. That's the round. OG on. Okay. Round number two. That was a, not really like robbery. It was more like, oh, unfortunate. Just kind of yawn, enforcing his will. Yo. He has the Legion, bro. No wonder he's got the Legion of Strider group. He's actually summoning the Legion. Imagine if he had a Legion super like Marvel, that would be nuts. Good jab check. He tried to escape the wall, but actually Yon is... Oh, okay. Back to the corner. Frame traps all day. Yon blocked it out. Oh, you're... He's, he's punching her in the gut. You see that? He's trying to test those abs. No. No, I trained these abs. You see me? No, lightning. I trained these abs and a combo. Okay, V reversal trying to get out. Actually, Zeku still has one of the best reversals, but Yon is going to rob this one. Robbery. That's what Laura does. Laura wins. Uh, and yeah, Bryce up. This is the real the real next level battle circuit. It's only Street Fighter today, but we do have a match arena. Same as always, exclamation point match arena. In the chat, if you want to find the link, the link today is save NLBC, and uh, half the contributions will go directly to Next Level and Henry Sen uh, to help him keep the keep the operation going uh, while everything is basically closed. Lockdown, quarantine, coronavirus, all those things. Vaccine wars. It's like storage wars, but not as cool, unfortunately. I like storage wars better because that one's fake. The vaccine wars are real. Anyway. Oh my god. Actually, Yon kind of figured something out that last game. I'm not sure what it is, but it seems. See what I mean? Oh my god, everything is hitting. Desnair trying to fight his way. Sand switch. Let's go. Oh, good cross. Don't. 
Oh, okay, another good throw. The cross-up throw got things started for him, and now he's in. Oh, man, it, he didn't get anything. I don't know that you get medium after that unless it counted, because I could be wrong. Oh, the cross-up elbows. Wow, that stunned? I rob you too, OG on, says Desner. I rob you too, my friend. You see this scarf? This is the robbery scarf. Oh, the zoning. Bro. My buttons versus your buttons. Okay, good, good response. And a nice reset. Oh, your dome piece. You tried to move? You tried to move against my beautiful elbow? Oh, I have an elbow too? Yo, it's an elbow fight. Those are not even legal blows. Oh, <laughs> yummy. Huge lead now for Yon. Tried to set up the crush counter. Desnair did not bite. Okay. No, back to the corner again. I want to mix you up. Frame traps. Oh, that was a cross up. He was in front. That was disgusting. <laughs> Unfortunately, he did not get a combo, so OG Yon lives. Bro, it even it, it definitely said cross up in giant ass letters. He was in front of me. How is that a cross up? <laughs> All right, final round. A good match so far from both players, for sure. They've been showing a lot of what they... Oh! What a start. Nice check with the short. Man, you has been having a lot of trouble dealing with the cross-up elbow off the uh, the command jump. I don't know what to call that. It's like a weird demon flip that he has. He's been setting up the EX one with the elbow really well. Really well. Okay, frame traps. It's a grab. He respected it. Another frame trap. No, you can't get away from me. Do you see this lightning? Ooh, that's a crush. That, oh, no. That would have been a stun. Actually, Desnir got lucky there. Oh, he's so close to getting it. That's a stun. He got shook. I could understand because that was a scary situation. Laura, she's so dangerous. Damn. <laughs> Laura wins. Damn. That was so close. Ah, what a nice match. All right. So, OG on takes it. Damn, they, they played so solid. Finally at the end. Finally at the end. Laura did what Laura does. Desnair tried his best. Fuck. <laughs> that was a good match. I'm not going to lie. That was the first game. I can't believe it. <laughs> Punch said Scrubby. <laughs> Why you hate it, Punch? <laughs> All right, so we're going to get the next match started. Thank you very much, guys. I do appreciate it. Uh, really great match. So next up is... Uh, I, is I just want to confirm, is this profit match? Is that correct? Versus... Cloud next, right? Just want to confirm. So I'll give the homies the invite. Enter fighter ID. Let's see. So we got to get you in here. Yes, please. And then we got to get you in here, Mr. Cloud Strife. So the next one. Oh, oops. Dang it. Did I mess everything up? Did, did I make everything harder for you? I'm sorry, Gibby. My bad. Okay, be right there. Okay, one second, guys. Let me just figure out how to do this. No, no, go back. Stop. Oh, God. No, I don't want to do that. Go back. Go back. So how do I see my invites on this? It shows you how little I do lobbies in this game. View invitations. Thank you. Yes, I will join. If it works. And then with any luck, we'll be able to play. Hooray, we did it. Thank you so much. I love these guys. You guys are the best. You guys are making my life so much easier. Thank you, T. Oh, uh, Try One? Okay, I like the name. Try One. Thank you, Try One, for the five Aeons, my friend. Thank you, thank you. All right, so I believe we're set up for this next match. And the next match is going to be, uh, again, it's going to be, let's see, Cloud Strife versus Profit. Good luck to both players. Man, actually, a lot of good players tonight. I'm really impressed. Even that first match, I thought that was cool. I had fun with that one. And if I'm not mistaken, this is also round one of the winners still. 
Let's do this. What's up, Shine? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Good luck tonight during the tournament. Good luck, good luck, my friend. Anyway, so all we're waiting for is to figure out the sides. Who's going to be on what side? But it's Profit versus Cloud Strife. Bracket-wise, let's see. This one is... Damn, we have a lot of Matcharino money. Thank you, everybody, guys. Just $393 currently in the Matcharino crowdfund. This is uh, round two of the winner's bracket. Supported by... <laughs> this thing that probably isn't happening because of coronavirus. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. Don't listen to me. Oh snap. Alright, so Profit is on the player two side. Cloud Strife is player one. And this is another two out of three set. I don't actually know a lot about this character, Seth, because uh, he or she, depending on which outfit you choose, is uh, one of the newest characters. And kind of wonky, just like in Street Fighter 4. A lot of different moves and a lot of different sequences. Oh my goodness, but you can still get grabbed. My Wow, that's, that's the round. Uh, uh, yo, he double headbutt him? He headbutt him twice? I didn't know that Cloud Strife had headbutts like that. Let's go Final Fantasy. All right. Round number two. Yo, my man definitely has a Hulkamania thing going or something like that. I think I've seen Hulk Hogan wear exactly that in a WrestleMania. I can't think of which one, though. <laughs> He's definitely had some weird fruity camouflage thing on at one point. <laughs> All right, anyway. It's pretty even. You're in my way. I love how she just poses and punches come at you. I think that looks awesome. It's like, I just think about beating you up and it happens. Nice anti-air, eat it. Welcome to the corner. Mm, spinning rims, that's a link, all day. He's still in trouble right now. Oh, that's what I mean. Oh my God, is he dead? One, two, three, oh my God, it did so much life. I'm worried for him. Nice block, okay. Mix up. No. He held it down all the way. Mm, wow. I don't know the frame data. Was that plus? Or did Cloud Strike react poorly? I wonder about that. New characters mean new tricks and new gimmicks. It is plus. Thank you, Running Fleet. Appreciate it, guys. Tricky, tricky, huh? So he, he, he risks the corner, or she risks the corner, depending on which set you have, but it is plus. Okay. You know, guys, I had not loaded this game up in a while, but I kind of laughed to myself because I went to check to see how many outfits I had. And, you know, I didn't even buy any of the extra Chun Li outfits. Why do I have 19 Chun Li outfits? And then I checked some of the other characters. I even checked Cammy because I figured Cammy would have a lot. Cammy does not have anywhere near 19. She has like 13 or something. Why does Chun have 19 outfits? <laughs> OD. Anyway, I counted. <laughs> the Prophet is looking very good in this round. Tandem. Tandem looks so weird in this game compared to the Street Fighter 4 tandem. It had a lot more pull. I guess they thought that that would be too good. Okay, good check. Mm, not a jump, though. Cloud Strike was looking for probably a jump or a dive kick, something weird like that. Instead, Prophet just played really strong ground game there. Extremely strong ground game. Yo, Shine, she really, trust me, I counted. She really has, if you buy just the, the arcade edition set or whatever, she has 19. That's without buying the extra ones that go even even further beyond. To go even further beyond. Anyway, Profit takes game number one. This is round two of the bracket. Once again, guys, if you're enjoying the tournament, please, I implore you to consider checking out the match. You know, I've just put the link in the chat for you guys. Uh, you can use the code SAVENOBC to donate for free. You can also buy products in their store. You can check out some of the sponsor quests. And every little bit helps not just the top three players tonight, but also NYC next level. Cross. 
That was good. Muscle power. Wow, good backdash. Profit. Profit fighting safely while attacking the corner, generally. And now has a huge lead in this round. I also think that Seth looks really incredible. Mm, that was nice. And the follow-up. For some reason, this outfit always makes me think of uh, the last boss in Eternal Champions. I'm not sure if anybody's ever played that game before. It's an old Sega fighting game. But the last boss is kind of like a similar concept. He's got like a big giant yin-yang symbol thing going on in his chest. Slash torso. Whatever you want to call it. Anyway, nice upper. Demon's Cradle. The Dimitri special. Mm, no, you can't get away from my buttons. You think you can get away? You're gigantic. And I'm small but fast. Oh, wow, Jab Antire. The classics. Bringing it back. Okay. I have you now. I can do your move on you. Because I'm stuck. I get those. And Cloud Strife, I'm not really sure what he can do from this position. He has so much. Oh, never mind. Now he can do something. Now he can do mix ups. Okay, V reversal. Very smart. Did not want to take any more mix. And now it's getting close to chip territory. Can he get away? No, he cannot. All right. Well, props to Prophet. Who read the future there in the corner the whole time. That's why he's a Prophet. No, actually, Prophet is his real name. I'm dead serious. <laughs> All right. Well, props to Prophet. He will advance there. Good stuff to Cloud Strife, who will have to try his luck in the loser's bracket or the lower bracket. Lower bracket. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. So, guys, the tournament will continue. We're going to keep going from this point. Uh... First off, I want to say if you're enjoying the stream, so please consider checking out our friends at Adorama. We love them, of course. Thank you, Adorama. We appreciate you guys greatly. Make sure to check them out. Twitch.tv forward slash Adorama XP. Do appreciate all the support, of course. Also, check out their website, Adorama.com. These guys are a leader. The leader, not just a leader. The leader in all the things that you need for a beautiful production. Cameras, lighting, tripods, and all the goodies. Make sure to check them out. We'll be setting up for the next match right now, guys, so please stick around. But also, please follow the homies at Adorama. And thank you, 8mm Spikes, Mojito, uh, Belt Star Killer, Combo Faint, CJ Grayson, Bredo, Bro Star, and everyone else that's up in here. We do appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right, so we're setting up for the next match. I see Tanachi up in here. So we got Tanachi versus, let's see, Tanachi's opponent is... For some reason, I, I don't know why I think of this. Tell back to Tanak, and I shouldn't be thinking of that, but it just makes me laugh. All right, so Tanachi versus Space Boy. That's the next match that we're going to see, and we're already getting the players set up, so give us just a moment on that. It's been a while since I've gotten to see Tanachi play, so actually, I'm really excited for this. And you never know, Space Boy might be here to take it to him also. This is still round two of the bracket. Uh, the bracket is available for you guys online. You can use exclamation point bracket if you want to follow along and see what's going on. You can check it all out. See all the matches. You know, see who's going to continue on the top eight. Check out the loser's bracket or the lower bracket and all that good stuff. Also want to say that please check out the Match Arena crowdfund if you guys have a moment. Uh, we'd really appreciate your support. It's already reached $400.02. That's extremely generous of you guys. Thank you, everyone. Uh, the top donators, of course, are still Lee with the $100. Thank you, Lee. Sneaker Ninja, who gave $50.50. Thank you, Sneaker Ninja. McMoblin, who also gave $50. T, who gave $40. Thank you, T. And AGNT Chocolove, who gave $26. Thank you, guys. We do appreciate it. And trust me, the top guys tonight will definitely appreciate your support. And so will Henry Sun. Uh, you mean uh, you mean in Philippines? No, I don't live in Philippines anymore. That was a while ago, my friend. Anyway, we're pretty much ready for this match. Whenever the homies are ready. I think we just got to wait for me to not be in the way. <laughs> all right, but thank you guys once again for all of your support. I hope that you guys are excited. 
Uh, beats by Noel. Yes, I'm trying my best. Actually, I've been kind of bad about like I need like one more push to kind of lose even more weight because I got to this current weight and I'm pretty happy, but I could use a little more. But I'm not using doing like a keto diet or anything like that. In fact, right now I haven't been dieting very much. I've been eating donuts and junk food and crap, so I need to to step my stuff up. Bandit Keep TV. Uh, the Seth player Prophet was the one that won that match. Oh, move to Q. Is that what I need to do? Okay, how do I do that? I'm sorry. My bad. How do I do that? Uh, do I press start? Do I press... Okay, how do I do that? I don't even know. I, like, I know how to ready up. I don't know how to not be ready. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I have to force myself. Okay, I see. Thank you. Forgive me, guys. I'm sorry. Spooky's really stupid and doesn't understand how Street Fighter works. <laughs> this is why we have other people do these things because Spooky's <laughs> Spooky's free. <laughs> no, but seriously, Snatchy versus Space Boy coming up next. I'm sorry, guys. My bad. Bill Hicks, how do I go to that college? Anyway, next match, round two winners bracket. It's gonna be Tanachi versus Space Boy. We'll see the sides once they've gotten their picks and everything has gotten in there and it's going how it's supposed to go. And good luck to both players, of course. Good luck. <laughs> Damn, there's 900, uh, 890 plus viewers right now. Thank you guys for tuning in. I do appreciate it. I hope that you guys are having fun. And also hope that you guys are staying safe. For real, take care of yourselves out there because it's a weird world right now. Round All one. right, so Tanachi is player one and Space Boy is player two. We got Sakura. Actually, this character won Evo Japan, believe it or not. There was a time where people were like, Sakura sucks. Who would pick this character? Now, now people are interested again, which is cool. She's probably better than Ryu nowadays. That's a little sad when I can say that Sakura is better than Ryu. She finally surpassed her master. Meanwhile, Tanachi, really aggressive Bison player. Nice slide. Crosses into mix. This seems like an annoying position for Sakura, right? Because her fireball is is not it's not like the type of fireball that's gonna keep it's not gonna keep Bison out, and his jump is kind of good against some of what she's doing. Cool, that was tricky. It's a natural space boy, also good defense there. Hadouken. Nice, good response, but did not get the full damage from the upper. Ooh, that was sick. All right, so Space Boy walking out of the range. Anyway, that's a classic. I say classic, but that's like a that's like a Street Fighter Five thing that used to be in other fighting games too. But you see it a lot more in Street Fighter Five, which is walking out of the range of their throw tech, and then uh, uh, using that momentum to get a big combo on it or something like that. Actually, Tanashi missed a huge combo there potentially. Hopefully, that does not come back to bite him. Oh, he jumped right into it. That was a great preemptive. Oh, cross up media. Eat it. It's one of the, the, the damaging BMBs for Sakura there when you can link into that fierce slide. Activate. Another slide. He's not afraid. Mix. Still got to respect the trigger too. Okay. Just keeping that slide as safe as he can make it. Another Psycho Crusher. And uh, that's it for Bison's trigger. Ooh, nice head stomp. That almost worked. Big trade. Ooh, he's in. He's in. Man, this got so close. All of a sudden, he can't even take chip anymore. Although, he can't really chip out with super or anything right now. Ah, neither player can take anything. This is so crazy. Oh, the speed. <laughs> he threw him off with the slow speed of the jab fireball. <laughs> that was clean. Good match. All right.
We'll see what happens in game number two. I don't think that Tanachi will be defeated so easily this time. Round one. Fight. Thank you very much to the Doom Man for your resubscription, my friend. I appreciate it. Oh, man, great cross there. Nice check also. Respect my di oh, respect my distance. Okay. Oh, no. No no block strings allowed. Oh, that was a sick top two set. Eat it. Damn. Hmm. Easy. You see how she did that with the, the, the traditional toss? The robe was flowing. Fresh from the festival. It's a curve. Bro, she kicks high. Uh, yeah, Oni is still banned, unfortunately, Moog. I know it's a whole new game, but... Yes, Oni is still banned. I'm sorry. Even Ryu is also banned. That's why they renamed him to a new name in this game. Nice. Wow, that was a godlike Psycho cr Uh, Excuse me. Double knee press, I call it the Psycho Crusher. Someone's gonna get mad at me. Damn, that combo? That was crazy. Perish. Hmm, he walked up to make sure the Crouch MK still hit. Set up? Nope, he just took damage. Okay. Mix time. Frame traps. Oh, I don't want I don't want to see any more frame traps. Eat a head stomp. Slide trigger. He, he definitely wants to imp implant a psycho in her brain. See if he can pull it off. Okay, crush. Damn, that was a punch. That's so deep. The recovery on the EX is pretty bad, huh? What the? I missed. Oh! Ho, ho. Very nice. Final round. <laughs> no Diego? <laughs> Someone said no Diego. No, there's no Diego. And there's also no Daigo. There's no Daigo or Diego. Not even not even a Diego Ume Juarez. You know, there's always like some guy that enters a Diego Ume Juarez. Even that guy's not here. I'm sorry. That's definitely a, a, a meme at this point. You go to every Street Fighter tournament, like, is Daigo there? That meme will never die. Oh, V Reverso got scooped. And now Tanachi looking extremely good in the match. He adjusted so fast. At one point, it looked like Spaceport was going to go four rounds straight. Since then, Tanachi's definitely figured out something. Hadouken, our spacing. A lot of respect for spacing. No jumping awkwardly. Tanachi only really using those head stomps uh, to get in front of the air. Devil's Reverse into throw. He's got a huge lead now. He can actually play it kind of safe like that. It's going to be hard for Spaceport to do anything, I think. He also doesn't have much meter left. Okay, that's the start. Trigger two. Here it is. Man, she kicks really high. Are you serious, bro? If I tried to do that, I think that I would... I think that I would tear something if I tried to kick like what she did just now. Yo, he's coming back! Ah, I killed! Damn! Yo, the trigger combo damage is actually pretty disgusting. That felt like way too much damage. Bro, that was definitely robbery. I don't even understand what just happened. <laughs> My man's life disappeared after the trigger in the corner. That was crazy. All right, well played, Space Boy. He will advance in the bracket. I'm sorry, Tanachi, but you'll have to try your luck in losers. Lower bracket. That evil place. All right. Anyway, we're going to set up for the next match. Thank you, Super Sonic Nova. Thank you, man. Extremely generous of you. You guys are really treating me really nice today. Thank you. It makes me feel good for my birthday today. Thank you, Super Sonic Nova. Thank you for giving away uh, 10 gift subs just now. Extremely generous of you. Thank you. And I'll put the money to good use and make sure to save up because I know that we have a whole craziness going on right now. But thanks for the birthday support and the birthday love, Super Sonic Nova. And thanks, everybody, also for supporting Battle Circuit. Pepe Silva, I'm 40 now, my friend. 40 years old.
And if you guys are enjoying the stream, please consider uh, donating or supporting the match. We know we're already at $414.52. That's extremely generous. Half the money will go to the next level today, and the other half will go to the players. I'm sure that both parties involved will be extremely happy the more that you donate. So thank you, everybody. Thank you also to Ten of Clubs for being extremely generous and hooking up a gift sub to the Young Blood Nine Tails Demon King. He's a Young Blood, you know how it is, and Young Bloods don't always have a lot of money in their pockets. So I'm sure that he appreciates your support. Thank you, Ten of Clubs. Thank you also Antoine, thank you Iron Chango, thank you everybody else. I'm trying my best to look good and feel good and do what I got to do. Anyway, we're setting up for the next match right now, guys. Once again, please check out the match arena. You can also check out the brackets online. Those are also available for you. And of course, all your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you, everybody. Use those free coupon codes. And again, thank you to G Fuel for helping out. It looks like we're going to have Shine up next to play, by the way, guys. So let's see, Shine versus, who is Shine going to fight against? Let's see, uh, Shine versus City of Brass. Oh, okay, I wonder if City is playing Sakura in this or not. He used to be a big Sakura monster, but I know that he kind of jumped around different characters in this game. City of Brass, the organizer of Defend the North. Props to him. Also up against uh, Shine, Endemic Shine. So Endemic Shine versus Team Paz, City of Brass. And all I gotta do is I gotta get the heck out of their way in the lobby so that they can play. So let me do that. And then with any luck, uh, we should be good. So how do I do this triangle? Go to back of Q. Alright, I did it. I did it, boys, this time. I didn't ruin the tournament. Thank you, guys. It is also IFC Yipes' birthday. That's correct. And thank you to powerful Antoine also for giving away a gift sub to Lord Idom, the champ. You respect the champ so much and you gave him a gift sub. That's very nice of you, bro. And very nice of you for supporting me directly, Antoine, I appreciate it, bro. Uh, Ghost Wife. Hey, uh, if you want to talk about Charlotta matchup, uh, let's talk some more tomorrow or later tonight after Battle Circuit is over. Today, I'm kind of focused on Street Fighter, so I'm not reading the right mentality to talk about Ground Blue, but uh, but uh, Ghost Wolf. Tomorrow, come through and let's talk about that because I want to talk about Charlotta. In fact, I thought about playing Charlotta a little bit some because I want to get better at fighting her. All right, so here we go. It's going to be Shine versus City of Brass. And a Shine is on the player one side, and City of Brass is playing Honda. Cool. Okay, so we got a Honda player tonight. That's nice. All right. So Shine, player one. Round one. He's in the purple. I like the purple outfit, actually. It looks cool. Oh, Soldier Boy says, finally a Honda. Yeah, we'll see what City's got for him. Man, actually, City's been grinding. All right. I see you, you master rank. Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Shine is Warlord rank. That's how OD he is. My goodness. I didn't even know that was a rank. I, today I learned. Oh, give me a hug. Yes. Actually, that looked kind of inappropriate. I'm not sure how I felt about that hug just now. We might have a problem, guys. Call the cops. Anyway. Don't step on the, the, the funny-looking kunai thing that will break your toes. Actually, he got some pretty big kicks on. I bet he could step on those and be okay. You see those soles? Those are some, some gigantic soles on his shoes. Yo, he is playing so cheap right now. I like it. That's Shine. He's being mad cheap. He's playing like the weak as a zoner. Stayed in front and then broke his neck. Nope. You can't dash at this. Oh, nice response. City. Oh, no. That's the wrong the man with the $3 shape up does not drop too many combos, guys. Uh, low MK. Seems like the Caltrops are, are like an annoying type of thing for a Honda player to have to deal with. He's not the type of character that has like tricky movement or anything like that. He likes to walk up and foot to you and take his time, right? And something being right there in his way seems... Ooh, that's a start! Oh, give her another hug. Yes. Oh, you're so beautiful, Abuki. Let me hug you some more. Man, she should not survive that. That man is a good 400 pounds or so, and he just sat on her like it, like he was... Dang. Ooh, yes! Let's go, City. Yeah, he mauled her in the corner. That was godlike. All right. The sky! Okay. I'm not sure if he has an anti-air that he can use from that position or not. That Abuki cross-up tends to be really good against many characters. Nice back throw. He's got control now. Dos Koi. Oh, beautiful punish off the reversal. Okay, block strings. 
More block strings. Did not confirm anything big, though. Doya? No! Come to me! I'm gonna sit on you! Bro, she's definitely gonna need a chiropractor after that. Her back is all out of alignment now. Buttons. City, City's trying to figure it out a little bit, but this is... this is Oh, nice. That's a start. Okay, it was an airborne crush counter. And Shine definitely mad. Ooh, that was a sick setup. Bro. <laughs> style setups. I'll style on you. Shine takes the first one. <laughs> SNK isn't that says the unblockable. He's definitely hit quite a few people with that trick. Alright, round number one. This is game number two. Right now it's 1-0 in favor of Shine. Actually, that was that was a great trade for City of Brass. He should have done that again. I would headbutt into Cow Chops forever if that was what the trade was like. Here. <laughs> it's like she's letting it to you. Here. Take this. Here. Have that. <laughs> oh. Bro, did you see her life? He did HP into hands. That was all it took. Charlotta? Does cut. Oh, ho, ho, he slapped her. Mm, mm, and got the link. That was delicious. That was like 35%. Good job, City. Okay, Sumo Splash. You're holding me back. I must use my V-Skill because you're holding me back. Does Koi. I'll take that trade. Oh, chop. Yeah, he made her sit down with the chop. He was like, respect, little girl. Uh, action Jackson, there's not going to be a Granbu tournament tonight, unfortunately. But uh, please listen out for more news about Granbu soon. Uh, very likely that we will have a Saturday event for them. Duskoy. Nice wake up, Mash. Shine has seen enough. Block strings. That was a good response. City of Brass, he's seen enough of that. So far, Shine is getting the better of these exchanges, but can't take too many big hits. One solid, nope, he's the one with the solid combo. Setup? Yep, that was nasty. That's the type of setup where it's like, oh, did he mess up his follow-up just now? Oh, meaty crouch short. <laughs> I got hit, oops. Got you. Oh, the cow, <laughs> the cow chops hit his hand? That sucks. <laughs> he tried to chop her and instead he needs stitches now. Ouch, don't, don't try to jump at my foot. Do you see the balls of my feet? I don't even need shoes. That's how many times I've kicked this tree before. Nice link, but oh, oh wow, that crossed up. That was nasty. Hard to tell what was going on there. Mm, mm, Dos Koi. Come on, City. I want to see more. Shine escapes the corner. Mm, he went for a roundhouse instead of a cross-up attempt there. And so City was able to get away. Cow Chop set up. Nice block. He saw it. He might have seen that set up a time or two. Okay, it's going to come back. Oh, smart! The, he was invincible during the grab. That was so smart, City. Okay, if he reversal, Shine went out. He wants to try to make it 2-0 right now. Crush. Eat it. The palms. What did he even hit? That's how you know it's a real anti air When you do the button, and you can't even tell what he actually hit. Did he hit, like, her ass? I don't understand. Anyway, go one, City. All right, 1-1. One, one. How would Shine respond? <laughs> Man, a City... Th that last sequence was really smart. The grab to make sure that he didn't have to deal with the shuriken on the way back, that was big brain stuff right there by him. He definitely earned that win. Nice trade. And again, shine mashing buttons. I wake up. He seems to know. V-reversal? No, that is a slow-looking V-reversal. My God. Please, can we speed up V-reversals in Street Fighter V, Capcom? Please. Those V-reversals are looking trash right now. Oh, my goodness. Your don't piece. Oh, that was the cross-up. That's a stun. GG's. Mm, don't, don't touch my butt. Don't do that ever again. Crack your neck, man. All right. That's quite. Okay. 
How can City get in? Caltrops, follow up. That was sick. Not much damage, but still, it's all about the space. No, you can't grab me. Cut it out. Ooh, Caltrops. Oh, it was still there. Oh, that's disgusting. You, how is it still there? <laughs> The city is just trying to find a way out of this corner. This is looking this is looking amazing now for, for Shine. EX gets through the Caltrops. Then he had to use an EX just to beat a Caltrops? That's kinda OD. Oh my god. That's kinda that seems kinda tough for hand Honda. Handa, Honda. Okay. He still could come back. He's got a trigger stock. He can't can't take anything right now. That's a problem. Uh grab into mix would probably finish him off. Now he can't even take a grab anymore. Oh, Shuriken sure set up. V reversal, not gonna happen. Shine. Don't you see my rank? I am a god. Not just godlike, I am a god. All right. Props to Shine. He takes that set over City, but really respect the City that second game. That that last round in game two was really godlike. The last sequence uh, where he got around the shuriken using the command grab was super dope. Well played by him. Anyway, Shine will advance. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, all the Makoto Fox crew. Thank you, Eek Streams. Thank you for your subscription also during that match. We do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, thank you, everybody, for checking out the online NOBC. I do appreciate you guys. So we're setting up for the next match right now. It's going to be, I believe, uh, Zaffarino. Uh, versus I drop should be the next match. That should be another good one. Uh, thank you, each streams, and thanks for the support directly, bro. It's very kind of you. I will use the money well to to stay safe during this Corona scare, and also you know have fun. Definitely after the stream today, I'm gonna chill and relax for my birthday because I didn't get to do much today. Anyway, welcome guys, welcome everybody. Once again, I want to remind you all to check out the Match Arena crowdfund, please. I implore you, everybody, please check it out. Uh, we're also, uh, let's see, blah, 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 Match Arena, what are we up to now? We are up to $416, that's extremely generous, guys, and if you don't know what Match Arena is and you're not familiar, Match Arena is a crowdfunding website where you guys can help us out with the stream, uh, w with the event, excuse me, uh, you can donate for free using your Twitch and the code SAVENOBC, you can also check out all the sponsor quests in the sidebar, including the ones from our friends at G Fuel, and everything you do contributes both to Next Level directly and to the top three players tonight. I also want to say thank you once again to G Fuel, who's the main sponsor of the match arena today. Uh, anyway, G Fuel says that they've started an awesome buy one, get one free offer. Uh, for a limited time, when you buy one of their energy formulas, like the French Vanilla Ice Coffee or Dr. Disrespect's Black on Blackberry, you can get another one completely free. Uh, there are some restrictions, and their offer ends on March 27th. Thank you, G Fuel. We do appreciate your support. Thanks to everybody that's been donating to the match arena. Anyway, we're going to set up for the next match in just a second. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry for the wait. And, uh, yeah, let's do it. So, next match is going to be Eye Drop. Shouts to him. And he's going to be up against Zaffarino. Uh, both exceptional players, but Zaffarino, you know, Eye Drop is, is more of like, he's like the, the new school, if you will, like the newest age of players. And Zaffarino, uh, he's been he's been around the block a few times here or there, right? So, Zaff, Zaff's, uh, this will be a tough opponent for Eye Drop. We'll see what he can do. This is winner's round three, by the way, fellas. We're still not uh, quite in the top 16 or top eight yet, but uh, cool. We're moving along. Round three winner's bracket. I drop versus Zaffarino. Thank you, everybody. All right. So I drop is going to be on player two side, and Zaffarino is going to be player one. He's playing Sagat. And uh, that's exciting to me because we don't get to see too many Sagat players uh, in this game, at least. We did see a lot of him in the previous game, Street Fighter 4. All right. Looks like we're synced up now. Zaffarino player one side. I drop player two. Actually, props to I drop, man. He's been playing. I gave him respect earlier and said that he was really good. But holy shit, he's been grinding a lot. Rank 200, huh? How about that? Anyway, this, this matchup, uh, you know, Sagat, 
he's got a pretty good projectile, but in the damage race, like, Karen generally wins, and she also has a really good walk speed. That's annoying for Sagat, right? So, Zafarino's, when he's in the corner like this, jumping out is not really an option, so he has to... That was nice. Man, I'm surprised that eye drop was the one that cracked there when he had him in the corner. But that's Zafarino's power for you. And it's really nice of Zafarino there working his way out of the corner with the fireballs and projectiles. Round number two. Anyway, that's kind of the right way for him to defend himself against Karen. If he tries to jump recklessly or if he tries to do something silly, uh, you know, she's got pretty good anti-airs versus him, the crouch heavy and also the EX quarter circle back, right? Uh, so because of that, uh, this is really Zafrina's best approach is to try to keep her out as best as possible and use uh, his low tiger shots effectively. V-reversal, he gets out. Mm. Now you go, you enjoy the corner. How's it, how's it taste? Ouch. Tiger uppercut. Okay. And I drop busts out. He's seen enough. No confirm on the crouch MK. It is pretty hard, so I'm not surprised. Especially online. Like, good luck confirming that every time. Wow, actually, he's barely alive. Mmm. High tiger shot. Zaffarino. He made that look pretty quick, actually. That's a part of the matchup, too. You know, uh, Zaffarino... As I said, he really can't escape or jump in or anything like that pretty well. But then uh, for the other player, uh, for iDrop, uh, it's weird to get around the low fireball consistently without also jumping. And, you know, he has like an uppercut that's not too bad. So kind of weird matchup. I think that the way that the spectator client works is a little bit different from what the players see also. So even if it looks like weird or laggy or skippy to us, it may be fine for the players. Also, I'm on PC, but a lot of these guys play on PS4. There is crossplay, but I'm sure that spectating via crossplay, I'm sure it makes strange things happen compared to spectating when you're all on the same platform. Knees. Okay, that one looked like it was not plus, but. Tiger. 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 Yeah, welcome to online tournaments. Online tournaments are tough, man. You're not just fighting the opponent, you're also fighting like the random lag factors and things like that. It's a part of the game. Hmm. You thought I was going to jump? Why would I do that? He might have tried to tiger knee and gotten a jump. I'm not going to lie to you. Now he's in the corner. Cole Ken. That was mad damage. Hmm. Eat it. Another throw? Yes. He read it. That's just that's a combo. Ow. Good escape. Well, a lot of this match has been about how Zaffirino has defended himself in the corner. He always seems to know the right answer uh, to stop eye drop from finishing him off. Okay. Damn, she punched his foot. Who saw that? You want to see more Sagat? Well, you're seeing some Sagat right now. Mr. Zaffarino. Tiger. Bro, his low tiger shots are amazing. When is Ijaw supposed to jump? Yes. Oh, that was a big miss. He actually could have pressed a button there, I think. Might have been able to do crouch strong or crouch MK or something. That's a big jump. Here. Uh, maybe he should have super. This might actually be a laggy match. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Not just from what we're seeing, but from the two of them, they might be experiencing some lag. Ooh, no. Not quite. He tried. All right. So finally, I drop manages to stay strong in the corner. It's very critical, actually. They both have around the same amount of Nice confirm. Man, he even got the, the shoulder after that's a tough combo. You gotta play a lot of a lot of Karen to do that one consistently. Tenko into he, he tried to Tenko there, I think. Nice jab. Too far for the crouch MK link. I just pulling out some pretty nasty block strings. Okay. Good defensive throw. Ooh, that was scary. Wow, that combo? Man, the range on the low MK into Fireball is pretty good. Nice stand short check. Another. Tiger. Mm, 
using those fast, long-range buttons at Farino. That was a little scary for him in the corner every time, but he, he pretty much bowed it out. There was one round that I dropped, finally got him to press an uppercut. But a pretty much just solid Sagat play there from... It's go time. Just solid. <laughs> Bunch says, Karen sucks. Jesus, actually, I think she's all right still. Maybe not. The whole throat thing is kind of weird with her now. Rest in peace. I'm sorry, I drop. Nine Tails was cheering for you, though. <laughs> all right. So we're setting up for the next match right now, guys. I hope that you guys have all been enjoying yourselves. Uh, let's see. As far as what's next, it has not been named to me just yet. So let's stick around. Stick around and see what happens. So uh, bracket-wise, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to take a peek. This is the match, you know, by the way, guys. It's now up to $420 and change. Thank you, everybody. Uh, IDOM is in top 16 winners. Space Boy is in top 16 winners. Profit is in top 16 winners. And uh, Arturo versus Bunch, also top 16 winners, it looks like. So we got some good matches lined up for top 16. Uh, we also have... Okay, so we're going to have Hoji versus Sonic Soul next on the stream. That's from uh, also winners round three. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. All right. Uh, let's see. As far as the match, we know crowdfund goes. Once again, I want to thank uh, the top donators tonight because there was quite a few of you guys. Let's see. The top donators include Mr. Lee. Thank you, Lee. We appreciate you, my friend, who gave $100.50. He says, stay safe, everyone. Sneaker Ninja, who gave $50.50. Thank you, Sneaker Ninja. Uh, Mick Moblin, who also gave $50. T, who gave $40. And AGNT Choco Love, who gave $26. Thank you all very much, guys, for contributing out of your pockets directly. We do appreciate it. You can also check out the sponsor quest in the sidebar. You can buy products in this store, or you can donate directly. Everything help us, helps us out. Oh, IDOM lost to lag? Yeah, welcome to online tournaments where lag happens. Anyway, so it looks like we're going to have Hoji versus Sonic Soul. Let me get to the back of the line and get out of the way. And we're going to have, hopefully, a beautiful match. T3's Hoji versus Sonic Soul. Uh, and Sonic Soul's uh, been playing a lot of this game, like, on the side. I think I mostly see him Rock Poison, but we'll see who he ends up choosing in this match. Thank you also to Autorama Camera. We appreciate you greatly. Thank you. Please make sure to follow them. Twitch.tv forward slash Autorama XP. You see the links in the chat. We appreciate your long-term support here at Nexel Battle Circuit, especially during these trying times where basically New York is like shut down. It's actually kind of wild. You ever seen that movie, The Devil's Advocate? And he's walking down like, he's walking down 3rd Avenue and there's just no one there. That's kind of what New York's like right now. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, items and losers, really? Dang. Well, yes. Welcome Round to the, one. welcome to the blow ups, Fight. I guess. So Hoji's player one, Sonic Soul is player two, and Hoji actually is rocking a team. I believe it's T three. So shall see you in the T three crew. What a <laughs> lick floor, and it's got the poison icon. Lick the floor. Okay, I, I like that team name. At least it's on. At least he's role playing correctly. Thank you, Raph, for the subscription, my friend. I appreciate you. And also, Smash Till Dawn. Thank you both very much. 24 Aeons and 4 Aeons. We'll see what Hoji has for Sonic Soul here. Actually, Hoji, a pretty good rush now early on. Actually, I like this matchup because this is less of a, like, this is less of a fireball versus non-fireball character type of matchup and more like a, a lot of footies involved in this particular matchup. Hoji looking really good there with the trigger, too. I like how he says play ball, but he pulls out a pipe. Who plays baseball with a pipe, Cody? You've been playing too much prison baseball. Okay. Follow up. Looking good. That's a meaty setup. It looks weird and it looks like it looks like G's vulnerable on those setups, but nope, he's plus. <laughs> he bow. Bow before me. Oh, that was a big whiff. I guess he expected a jump. Play a ball. Bro, my man has a crescent kick. Did you see that? 
Q definitely don't got kicks like that. Set up. Nope. He's just protecting himself. Man, that pipe lasts for a while. It's still here. Mm, one more. This is true power. Nice. He smelled blood. And he went for it. So all his resources are expended. Uh, but Sonic Soul makes it into round number three. Hoji has full range to do whatever he wants meter-wise this round. Why don't you fly? Oh, was that intentional? I don't know if that was a setup, but he could have got a big combo there if he was ready. Crush. Hmm. Take it. Sorry. I need out of this corner. One way or another. Oh, knocked down. And no more, no more president power. Damn, they're anti-airing each other like crazy. No, where you go? Gut punch. Spacing. He couldn't, can't get a follow up. Oh, that's it. Finally found a jump in. Bro, he's going red, by the way. That's kind of scary. Would you freak out if you saw like Resident Evil Cody coming at you like this Cody? I would be a little worried. 1 0 for Hoji. He looks like Wesker. That's mad scary. Wesker, Cody? <laughs> Corona Cody, that's not Fight. good. <laughs> Sleep it off. <laughs> oh, big jumping. Man, Sonic Soul's definitely in trouble now. Oh, no. He's really in trouble. Oh, my God. How are you going to get out of this corner? Tornado didn't work. He needed Hurricane Katrina power. Oh. Man, he has, he has all the president power in the world off this trigger. But... He's getting rushed. No, I will flip kick over and over. I don't want to eat any of your mix-ups. Trade it on the cancel. Tornado. Oh, he, I, he has a two-part air chain? Damn, I didn't even know. And I used to play this character. Okay. Nice. Sick follow-up. Up oh, that stuff. He got him. Very nice. Hoji did not respect on wake up and he paid the price. Both players have been gut punching the crap out of each other with their medium punches, by the way. Oh, you're. Bro, you see what I mean? They're gut punching the crap out of each other. Liver blow. Nice spacing. Good, good. Whoa, that almost worked. Crush. <laughs> Good option. Actually, now Sonic still has corner control. Yep. Follow up. One Earth. No. Get in the air. Mm. 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 He's actually very close to getting stunned. That was not plus, obviously. And Hoji poked out. Baseball time. Yes. Home run. <laughs> Yo, he's he like a. Oh, man. That was a, a great check, actually. He stopped the, the low ruffian kick there. Bro, I can't get over it. his group name, Lick Floor. And it has a poison icon. It's so crazy. <laughs> nice anti air. Tornado, no, I don't care about your tornadoes. Get off of me. I will bow before you just to stay out of this corner. Body splash worked. My turn. I'm going to cross you back up. What a trade. Cha-ching. Okay. Oh, no. And now Sonic Slides control again. He's got the stick, though. So if he can fuck, he need him in the face. Violence. Oh, violence back. Set up. 
I don't even know if that was a real safe jump or not. It looked like one. Mm. One Earth. All right, we got one President level. He actually can get to this. Uh, never mind, not anymore. I was gonna say he's very close to getting another trigger, but Hoji's just trying to find a way in to do damage. He has a critical art. If he can land like a solid crush into critical art, that would be huge for him right now. Time is slowly winding down. Eight seconds. Nice. Alright. Sonic Soul staying strong. How would how would G solve the coronavirus, guys? Tell me your thoughts in the chat right now. If G was president of the earth, what would he do to stop Corona? Throw mud at it. Command Round grab one. it. Command grab Corona. <laughs> Take a shower. <laughs> That's what he would do about it. I don't I don't know if it's just about cleanliness, but uh I'm sure that taking a shower and washing your hands with lots of hot water makes a difference. <laughs> well, let's let's hope that when G finally is elected president that he has a good plan. By the way, both these guys actually isn't Cody like the mayor now. <laughs> They're both presidential, I guess. Get lost. Is this what we do in politics nowadays? When we need to pass a law, we beat each other up, and whoever's the strongest is the one that decides what happens. That's definitely the plot to Shin Megami Tensei. Nice round by Hoji. Or mauling there, pretty much. Ooh, nice response. Tornado. No, you can't just jump because you feel like it, my friend. Ah, bingo. He tried to get a little aggressive with his plus frames, but Sonic Soul poked his way out of it. Actually, Sonic Soul looking really great now. Big confirm. Spends one on it. Spends two on it. Just to get a better knockdown. Defensive throw from Hoji. Actually, he can do a lot from this. He's got to respect them because he can't necessarily tell where Hoji has aimed it. Versus Hoji is the one kind of in control of that situation where he goes for the up baseballs. Up rocks. Okay. Your feet. Check them. I like what Sonic Soul is trying to do. He's playing generally safe. He's not really canceling to anything so that he doesn't risk a cancel by Hoji. And that's a clean, clean finish. I don't know, P Flair, if that one was safe. Uh, it can depend on which version he's used and how late in the animation it hits. Also, Cody is, is not excellent with jab punishes, right? So that's a little harder. He would have to risk something like down jab into Ruffian or something weird like that. So not not a surprise to see Hoji having a little trouble with that particular one. One two, and that that corner rush is crazy right now. I don't know how he's gonna get out. It's almost perfect right now. Finally pokes his way out of it. He's still in the corner though. Jump in. Crush. That's big. He didn't have. Mm, he did have a meter, but he didn't spend it there. This time he does spend it. No way. Not gonna hit. That should be it, and Hoji takes it. Sonic Soul feeling the pressure. P -p -p pressure. Cody wins. All right, so Hoji will advance. Props to him. It's go time. Okay. So anyway, we do have even more matches lined up, guys. We're obviously not going to stop anytime soon. Uh, it sounds like the homies want us to stream uh, most of the Winners Top 16, which is not a problem for me. I don't really care either way, as long as all the players don't care and nobody else cares. So we're going to stream a lot of matches from Top 16 Winners side, it sounds like. Anyway, I hope that you guys have all been enjoying the stream. Thank you very much, guys. We're going to do a quick little 895 while we set up for the next match. So if you see a commercial break, don't worry. It's just, you know, Spooky trying to make that revenue during the corona. You already know what's going on. 
Also want to say a big thank you to our friends at Adorama Camera. Thank you, Adorama. We do love you guys, and we appreciate all of your support. Make sure to check them out at twitch.tv forward slash Adorama XP. We do love them, guys. Thank you, Adorama. You can also check them out at Adorama.com. These guys are the kings of everything that you need, whether you need cameras, lenses, lighting, tripods, wiring, computers, all the goodies you need for a beautiful production, media, everything, Adorama.com. Thank you, Adorama. Also, make sure to check them out. Twitch.tv forward slash Adorama XP. Give them a follow, guys. Oh, you like Apex? Hell yeah. Well, they definitely love Apex at Adorama. That's for sure. All right, guys. We're going to be setting up for the next match. I also want to say, please check out the Match Arena crowdfund if you have a moment. Whoa. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. We're now at $527. Hell yeah. That's a lot of money. Thank you, guys. The top contributors include uh, still the homie Lee, who gave $100.50. Thank you, Lee. True Terror RTA, who gave $100.50 as well. Thank you, True Terror. And he writes, stay up during these hard times. Thanks for the grind and matches. Well, thank you, True Terror. We appreciate the support, bro. Thanks very much. Also, Sneaker Ninja, who gave $50.50. Thank you, Sneaker Ninja. Make Moblin, who gave $50. And T, who gave $40. Thank you very much, guys. And congrats to everybody. Good luck tonight. Looks like we're playing for a nice little prize pool. Also, a good amount of this goes to support next level when Henry sent half to next level when Henry sent and the other half to the prize pool. Yeah, good stuff, OG. You played well, my friend. Well played, bro. Yeah, RLBS, the real life bonus stage, definitely hooking it up. So was Lee, also old schooler. Lee and RLBS used to be up in here all the time in the SF4 days. All right, so now let me get out of the way so we can set up for this next match, guys. It looks like we're about ready. And it's going to be uh, Zaffirino versus Idom. This should be a very good match. I just got to tab over to the client. My bad. No, I don't want to leave. I want to... Dang it. Stick, please. There we go. We did it. All right, so I so this is winners top 16 or winners round four. I'm just gonna write round four winners. Winners quarterfinal actually. Let's write that winners quarterfinal. It's gonna be Idom the god, the champ, the beast. I domination NYC. I don't even know if he uses that name anymore. He used to at one point. Idom versus Zaffirino. Honestly, this looks like a real winner's quarterfinal that would happen at Battle Circuit. These two probably have faced off in this exact position quite a few times now. Uh, Idom, well known for his Laura, of course, but also has a very excellent poison. Uh, and he's kind of gotten to the point where he can play a lot of different characters if he feels like it. So if he pulled out something random here, it would not surprise me. Let's see what he chose. He chose poison. Okay, so poison versus Sagat. Idom will be player one side, player two will be Zaf. Make sure to check out that Intel open. That probably won't happen because Corona. I'm sorry. Round one. Okay. So Poison versus Sagat. Uh, so Poison has, she, she has some weird buttons and specials that she can use from a range where it's not necessary that she can easily just beat out a projectile, right? But it's more like uh, she can force lots of weird trade situations or she can preemptively press a button that will stop Sagat from doing what he needs to do. So you see what Zaffirino is trying to do is he's trying to create a space where uh, he's kind of out of the range of Idom's buttons and specials while he can still attack with the fireball effectively. And it is a very good plan, but keep in mind that it's a plan that is not, it's not a damaging plan, right? So he can't make too many mistakes because once Idom gets close like this, it becomes very dangerous for him very quickly. And it might not seem like Poison is like a rushdown character because usually she's kind of like half and half, right? Like half defense, half offense. But in this matchup, Poison is definitely the aggressor. No link. I don't even know if, if Sagat could attempt the link from that range or not because I don't know how his combos work that well. A lot of chip damage there. That's very dangerous for Zaf. He can't even take like a jab right now. It'd be a very disgusting jab. Oh my god, just as I said it. That did so much. But actually, Zaf's still in a good position. Nice slow tiger shot. Round two. 
he played that pretty much how how Sagat should play it. Mm, watch your feet. Get over there. I don't care that you look like an old maid. I will knee drop you forever. Nice punish. Very good. Mm. Uh oh. My turn. Bro. Setups? Nope. Oh, you better respect my mix up. I'm a lore player. I know how to always keep it airtight, my friend. And even when I don't keep it airtight, you better be scared. No. Do you not see the Molotov cocktails? I made these at the bar. Oh, 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 oh wow. Good jump in. That was excellent by Zap. Actually, Zap is still keeping it quite close. If he finds a way to hit a big EX or, the, or even builds enough for the critical. Nice EX. Oh, ho, ho, the shivvy. Bro, she tried to reopen the scar. Did you see that with the, the cross body whip? Don't reopen the scar. That's not cool. You're trying to bring back old memories for, for Sagat. He's forgotten about those times. Nice link. Beg for it. What what was on the, the lick what was it? Lick floor? Was that what Sonic Soul had? Beg for it. Lick floor. <laughs> oh nice again with the link. We always hit those. I just noticed that she has a skull on her belt, by the way. It's the first time I noticed that. I love skulls. That's why I called it T Spooky. Jeez. Body. Damn, and then she pimp slapped him just because? Your defense was embarrassing. Slap, slap, slap. I challenge you to a duel. Run it back right now. That was pretty impressive by Adam, especially after how good Safarina was in the first round. <laughs> hey, this guy's pretty good, <laughs> says David Bunch. <laughs> this guy's pretty good. Mm. He all right. <laughs> he, he ain't bad. <laughs> Rank number nine. <laughs> I single di single digit rank. That's actually kind of OD when you think about it. How do you have single digit rank? I don't. <laughs> right there. Anyway, Zaffirino, I got to give it to him, man. His low tiger shots, uh, both these matches we've seen of him have been ex really good placement, good timing, and he's forcing his opponents to do something about it rather than placing bad fireballs that they can easily get around. Uh, what is Kami? The pot right now is 520 plus the $5 per entrance. We had 30-something entrance. Uh, it's going to be like, after the splits and everything, it's going to be like 350 bucks or something like that for the top three. More like four-something already? Okay, Min says more like four-something. Yeah, Kami. You should answer, dog. Why didn't you answer? <laughs> Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> That's a, there'll be more, Kami. Don't worry. It ain't over, dog. Next week. Enter next week, bro. We want to see you play, of course. Oh, that would have been a new tattoo, <laughs> says one. <Wunsch. laughs> oh, what a punish. Bro. Damn, that punish hurt. All right. So potentially final round here for Idom, but actually it's not like Zap has not made this competitive the whole time. Damn, he can't get any fireballs started. It's funny because his low fireballs were so good before, but now Tiger, there's a good one. No, stop it. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you and your old English outfit. Where'd you even find that shit? Hot Topic? Don't lie to me. They don't sell that shit at Hot Topic. Uppercut. I'm tired of your offense. Damn, the heels, though. What are you looking at? You looking at my heels? Hmm. Hmm. Opened up the scar again. Who's, you saw the, 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 the lag on the hit? That's how you know the scar got opened back up. That's not right. Oh, my God. The damage, though. I don't please. Are you serious? <laughs> That was pretty cheap. I'm sorry, Zafarina. I didn't know what to say about that. That was actually kind of cheap. <laughs> Damn. <laughs>
Oh my god. Yeah, I, I guess that's what happens when you talk shit about her shopping at Hot Topic. <laughs> I guess that's what happens. All right. Well, anyway, we're going to continue on in the winter semis, guys. I hope that you guys like that one. I believe the next one is going to be uh, Space Boy versus Hoji, if I'm not mistaken. If not, we'll just, you know, we'll, we'll continue on through winners until we get it all done. Uh, the bracket is, let me give it to you, homie Kami. Here's the bracket, bro, if you want to see what's going on. Uh, you can also check out the match arena, everybody. We do appreciate all the support. Uh, as I said before, we're now at $528.87. That's really exceptional. All right, thank you, guys. We appreciate it. Thank you guys. Caffeine Crash. Hell yeah. Thank you very much, Caffeine Crash. That was extremely generous of you. Thanks for giving me, Lord Spooky, some gift subs on my birthday. I do appreciate it. Thanks so much. All right. So it is. Look, it looks like it is indeed going to be the Space Boy matchup. So we got Space Boy and Space Boy's opponent is Hoji. Actually, this should be a good match based on what we've seen from them so far in the tournament. I'm excited to see what they will do. And uh, Hoji is T3 for some reason that didn't save last time. So let me save that in there. There we go. And uh, yeah, all right. Once we get the homies in the room, we're going to continue on with this very next match. I hope that you guys have been having fun with this so far. Actually, it's been pr more fun for me than I thought it was going to be at first. I said this before, but I'm not the hugest fan of online tournaments sometimes. Just because there's so many factors out of your control. Uh, lag being the biggest one, right? Uh, but yeah, compared to that, this is pretty cool. I think so far. Hopefully, uh, all the players will also enjoy it. I'm going to go up to the back of the queue and get out of the way. And we're going to start this match. The Space Boy, Great Sakura versus Hoji, Great Cody. Uh, and in fact, I don't get to, to see this particular matchup too often. So I'm excited to see what the two of them will do. Actually, my favorite Street Fighter character is Cody. I like this character a lot. I, I actually enjoyed him a lot in Street Fighter 4. I used to love watching Momochi play him and do like messed up unblockables in the corner and crazy combos and stuff like that. It was always very enjoyable to me. Oh, shouts to Just a Kid in the chat. I see you, my friend. Welcome. Welcome to all the Street Fighter monsters. All right, so player one side is going to be Space Boy, Sakura. Player two side is going to be Hoji. Uh -oh. Thank you, Antoine, for giving away a gift sub also. Very kind of you, my friend. Thanks, Antoine. Right here. All right. So early on in this round, uh, we see that Hoji, and he he, he has he has the right type of play style as a Quiddy player. His play style is to kind of walk you to the corner, and he jumps sometimes, but he doesn't really jump that much. Oh, that's a big punish. Oh, and he activated the trigger to make sure it was... Oh, that was smart. Extremely smart. You know that he's been in that situation before. Hey, how are you going to get out of this corner? You see my buttons? You see my hands are glowing? No. My glowing hands. Oh, the reach. Oh, he got it. Ooh, so that that with that move, uh, if there's like a timing where if you do it perfectly, if you get the perfect timing, it's a more damaging command grab. There, he actually got the perfect timing, which was very important. Uh, because if he had not gotten the perfect timing, I don't think it would have killed. Anyway, that was that was tight. Right there. Nope, I'm not jumping. Are you stupid or something? I'm a Cody player. We don't jump. Anyway, that was really got like by by Hoji. Good close out. Ooh, okay, my turn again. Get lost. No, don't try to grab me. Again. Setups. Okay, good block. That was a cross up setup. Okay, my turn. I have stupid. Oh, what? Damn. I don't even know how that situation occurred, but unfortunately, a uh, space boy crossed himself up trying to continue with the Sakura flip combo. What are you even called? Sakura's demon flip. I don't want to call it a demon flip. I'm just going to call it Sakura flip. I know that sounds stupid. Nice punish. Mmm. Sakura flips. It's a combos. We've seen that combo from Space Boy already. Very damaging trigger one. Final round. Okay. Tornado. Tornado. Yep. He's got V skill one, trigger two. Sorry, I said trigger one. I saw the one. You know how it is. Too many numbers. One, two, V this, V reversal, V skill. That was a sick combo. Stand I assume that's standing only? That was godlike. Oh, 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 Space Boy, please. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh. 
damn, he definitely had Hochi mixed up. That was OD. Space Boy. That's why he has the Mega Man outfit. Yeah. <laughs> that was sick. That was actually a dope game from both guys. Hoji, the round one clutch was really good from him as well. That was crazy. All right. Game number two. It is still two out of three sets, guys. We haven't reached the point of three out of five just yet. Tornado. What was that laugh? I don't know. I'm I'm evil. I just love evil laughing. And thank you for pointing out that the back HP of Sakura always forces stand in that combo. Makes total sense. You don't have to be afraid to go for it when you know it's always going to work. Finally, Hoji breaks one. I can understand why he's respecting after how the last game went. But uh, it's more like the other way. Hoji's respecting the setups, but Space Boy is not respecting Hoji's setups. Play ball. Mm, overhead. Good blocks. Sweep. Good block again. Mm, I don't care. I'm going to keep doing it. Yo, that was a nice watch, Cody. Where'd you get that watch from, bro? Round two. Crush. Damn, and he confirmed it. That was crazy. Welcome to the corner. Oh, ho, ho, ho. don't try to grab me. You crazy? Mm, no, hands off. Okay. Wow. Wow, again. He knew to block it and then knew that he could still EX uppercut. That was knowledge. Space boy. Hammer. No, I don't want to take any mix. Nice reflect. Where did it go? <laughs> Even I was, it looked like it looked like both OG and I were waiting for it to come back. Where did it go? Nice combo. Oh, I guess you can't get something. That almost looked like something was viable there, but I guess not. I don't really know how it works when an anti airs you on the way up like that. Oh man, he tried to fake a mini set. Ouch, man, he hit her so hard the pipe broke. How do you break a pipe? Oh my god. Damn, I'm still on that. He hit her so hard with the pipe that the pipe broke. That's actually kind of crazy. He just needs like a short or a jab, any basic hit. Oh, don't jump, don't jump recklessly. Oh, oh my God. If he had hit that link. Nice. Crotch MK closed it out. That was scary. That that almost looked like a comeback was about to occur, Cody but wins. Koji stayed strong. Makes it 1-1 with this, this zombie Wesker Cody thing that he's got going on here. Actually looks kind of cool. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, so game number three. Oh, uh, was that two? Am I confused? I'm just gonna move to the back of the line. Move to the back of the line. There we go. D Iros, thank you very much for your sub, D Iros. Right now the score is one to one. Between Hoji and Space Boy. Let's see what happens in game number three. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. I, I like the, the Sakura viewer. In fact, Sakura is one of the better animated characters in this game. If you compare, like, season two slash season three animated characters to the season one animated characters, like, a world of difference. Like, remember when Minot first came out? Minot's really well animated. Her walk animation, the back walk. The orb buttons, like the stand HP, oh, yeah, like stuff like that. I think that they're animated much better. You don't think so? You don't agree with me? Okay, all right. I don't know. I think they look way better than the season one characters. I think the season one characters are the ones that look terrible. Like when I look at the Ryu's animations, I'm like, ew. Versus like Sakura looks like the neutral animations, like way better. She's actually like doing stances and stuff. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, it's okay. It's all opinions anyway. <laughs> the Kami said the throw looks disgusting. Okay, I'll give you that. It looks weird. She like fills her arms and she trips you over. That's supposed to be the throw. That's fair. Now I'm serious. Before I was just a little girl working at the corner of a grocery store. Now I'm a serious girl. That's my EX uppercut hurts so much. Oh my god. Round two. One one is the score. Up fireball gets nothing. That was like a preemptive read by Space Boy there. 
EX again. Hadouken. I learned it from you, my love. I love you so much. Okay, let's go. Plus. That was mad plus. No, you can't get out. No, you can't get out. No. Oh, my goodness. We're going to find a round, my guy. That was a beat down. Both ways over. First Space Boy beat him down, and then Hoji beat Space Boy down right back. No, don't come near me. Do you not? Bingo. Mm, and then he headbutter. Illegal blows. Right here. I don't know if he wanted that particular of fireball. I do wonder about that. Because it doesn't seem like the type of place where, where Hoji would want to jump. That's a place where Hoji would want to jump. Okay. Oh, the mix-ups are coming out. He's got to respect. Okay. V reversal out of the chain combo. Damn, is that gonna kill? Oh my god, that did mad life. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm mad scared. Ah, oh, body. <laughs> Damn. Alright, well, Hoji took it. Excuse me, Space Boy. I almost gave it to the wrong person. That's how free I am. That was mad close. You would have rage quit it, Kami? That, that type of person you are, you would have rage quit after that loss? Damn. <laughs> I was just talking about how I think Sakura looks pretty. And somebody's like, why is Sakura so ugly in this game? I'm sorry. Anyway, Space Boy took that one 2-1. One. Uh, so Hoji will be headed to loser's bracket. But uh, both players really were playing kind of exceptional. So I would not be surprised to see more of Hoji later on in the loser's bracket of this tournament. Anyway, guys, we're going to be setting up for the next match right now. Quick little 895 for you guys in the chat. 895. 895 means commercial break in fighting game terms. Haha. -ha. No, but seriously, also, we have the Matcharino crowdfund for those of you guys that did not get an ad just now. Please help us out and jump in there if you have a moment. Uh, we would appreciate your help greatly. Uh, there's still lots of the free coupon codes left. The code is save NLBC. You can also check out G Fuel and their sponsor quest. They've got a boatload of them. Devour Frozen Foods. The Twitter quest. The YouTube quest. Click quest. Everything will help contribute. You can also buy products in their store or you can contribute directly. And uh, thanks everyone. We do appreciate it. I'm sure that Henry Sam will be really happy. And I'm sure the top three will be happy tonight to put a few extra bucks in their pocket. And I'll help them out doing all this downtime. Thank you, King Four Nines. Thank you also, Green Power Van, for 71 motherfucking Aeons. That's that's a long time of being a subscriber, Green Power Van. Thank you very much. So the next match we're going to have is going to be Shine's match in Winner's uh, Quarterfinal, it looks like. So it's going to be Shine versus Profit. This should be actually another very good match. Uh, of course, Shine, uh, one of the best in the biz right now, but Profit is no slouch either. And in fact, uh, this could be quite close. We'll see what happens. Prophet also is playing a lot of uh, Seth, we saw, uh, which is a character that's like a newer character. Anyway, let me get out of the way. Triangle, go to back of queue. Don't get in the way of the good players. You're the scrub player. Cool, we did it. So Shine versus Prophet is coming up next. $3 shape. I already forgot who was the one that made the three. Was that Lee Chung that said something about his shape up? <laughs> I think it was Lee Chung. Actually, Lee Chung has a habit of saying some some really funny slash catchy stuff. Him and him and Chris Su are really good at like they just say something that sticks. I don't know how to describe it. Anyway, thanks again, Green Power Van. I do appreciate it, my friend. Thank you also, Excuses. I do appreciate the support. Thanks very much for all the birthday gift subs and congrats to everybody that got a sub. Thank you, my friend. Very kind of you. All right, so we're going to jump into this next match, everybody. $3. Bro, I don't even want to talk about that hype, bro. Anyway, Profit is on the player two side, and Shine is player one. And we saw that earlier already, but Shine ranked in the top 50. That's pretty crazy. Profit no slouch himself at the ultimate Grandmaster rank. Crush. Damn, you can still confirm those. And, of course, he wants the corner. No, get thrown. No, get thrown again. We took it away from Karen, but we let we let Ibuki keep it just because. Ninjas. Ninjas must have corner throw loops. Set up. Up this is a combo. Extension. 
Mm. He tried to throw him back into it, but Shine wisely just kind of down backed and chilled. Turned out it worked out. Oh, oh man. It doesn't look like he had the opportunity to combo there. Very close. Profit. Ooh, that's a punish. Extension? He couldn't get enough for the kill, though. That will kill. All right. So Profit with the Urian pick seems to have worked pretty well for him so far. That Aegis placement was really good for him before. The footsies with V skill 1. The classic. Mm, nice. Man, that wasn't even a cancel. That was a link. Very cool. He let that leg reel back just to make sure, and then he went for the uppercut. The frame data. Oh, I don't think he wanted that to happen. Out of there. Hmm, yeah. Cool, Sonic Soul. Good luck, my friend. They're both very strong. Hmm. Oh. Bro, she kicked his chin. See that? I don't think you can take a chin kick like that and still be standing. I saw Ronda Rousey take a crossbody kick like that. It was it was over for Oh which way do I block? Damn. Yuri Profit. Win. That was godlike. We're gonna we're gonna need a block button in this game soon, all you ground blue players. You know what I'm talking about. So that 50 50 you know you know it's bad when like the character's hitbox like overlaps and then like skips over how do i block block button please i don't know what's going on anymore anyway profit game number one that was a very clean game one for him <laughs> man tian says the black button is whack i'm just kidding around bro they would never put a block button in street fighter i hope anyway <laughs> all right <laughs> one two Profit, huge lead. Nice link. Oh my god, that actually hurts. It's one of the most damaging starters for him. Ouch. Golden letters. He wants those match you know, dollars. The gold, just like his light bar, was still gold. Cha-ching, bro. He's got all the cash. Damn, Profit is actually playing kind of godlike right now. I like the... Oh, the stand medium, and then he got the confirm knee drops. Seth was for fun. This was for real. Nice break. Oh my god. He has a huge lead again. And the stun is looming. Pressure. Overhead for the kill. Fin finish him! Finish him! Godlike. That was OD Profit. Damn. <laughs> Punch says F this game. <laughs> Welp, I'm sorry, Shine. That was a body montage, though. Good, sh good shit, Prophet. <laughs> that was pretty OD. I don't know about that. I mean, guys, look. Uh, we said this from the beginning, all right? It's online, so we're not going to talk about the whole online versus offline. And, oh, you know, this feels a little laggier because online. There's no nothing we can do about that. All we can do is beg people to have the best possible connection and beg the cap cops to keep trying to fix the net play. That's literally all we can do. Anyway, that that was pretty godlike, Prophet. Not for nothing, bro. That was that was well played. I'm not I'm not even trying to make excuses for Shine. I'm sorry if that if that sounded like I was making excuses for Shine. It's more like, damn, that was just a body montage. So I had to say something. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, Andre Geo. Uh, so I, I see a lot of you guys have been talking about the big tree from the Cow Cops. Apparently, they're doing another update to the net play. Hopefully, that will help improve things even further from the last improvement update. Uh, and you know that would be nice because it would help a lot with this situation Thank you verified notification. Thanks everybody else We're gonna continue on with the next match and winners quarters uh, finally we got to see actually TS Saban play We haven't gotten to see him play the whole time. He's gonna be up, up against David Bunch who's been in the chat the whole time uh, So this should be an interesting match. We'll see what happens. Uh, I want to see what Bunch has for art uh, You know art's been kind of on a tear all over the place in New York or lately especially since uh, this new Dawson it's, it's not like he's that much different from the previous Dawson, but he's pretty good right now and Art is, you know, when Dawson is good, it's kind of like by extension, Art will be good because Art always loves playing Dawson in like every game, right? So, uh, yeah, this this should be a good look for him. We'll see what happens. Bun, bun, bun. 
<laughs> Let's go, Punch. <laughs> well, at least you got one one homie in your corner, Punch. You got OG on trying to help you out. We'll see what happens. So, again, this is going to be the last winner's quarterfinal uh, before all of winner's top eight is decided. And it's going to be David Bunch versus Tia Saban, Arturo Sanchez. We're just trying to get Arturo up in here so that we can start. <laughs> no, Dawson's not good, says Nine Tails. I mean, this is, I think this is like among the best that he's been I, in this game, at least. I could be wrong. Maybe season one, the beginning, Dawson was better, but I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll find out. All right. So we got David Bunch, or just Bunch. I don't know why I'm saying his, his government name. I'm sorry. And up against Saban. Arturo Sanchez. I said his government name too, so now it's fair. Hey, B tier, B tier, B tier for Sim, he takes those. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Especially in the later games where people just hate zoning and they don't want Dawson to be a good character because they can't stand zoning. Compared to that, I'm sure that the Sim players will be happy to be. Okay, so it's going to be uh, David, uh, excuse me, Bunch player one, and it's going to be Tia Saban, Arturo Sanchez player two. Uh, it looks like Art is opting for Folk, so someone called that in the chat. Round one. Fight. Mayo Ken, that was actually a good V skill starter. Anyway, this character's pretty cool, Falk. Uh, she got some, some good improvements to how the charge up fireball works. And uh, the other improvements too, but that was the major one that really opened up her game. Now she has all these new fireball block strings that she couldn't really do very often. Uh, and she got some new combos as well to help her out. That was a good response to the V, uh, v trigger activation by Furby. Damn, that does a lot of damage. I mean, she's in, she is in V trigger, but still. All right. Boya. Still going. All right. Last cancel. Be on your guard. It's a little risky to go for the elbow after that, the Garinken. So a lot of the time, if they see Garinken not hit, uh, they'll just back off there. That's one thing about the, uh, the trigger one of Karen. It's great for combos, but it's hard to use as a pressure tool. That's plus. Ouch. Actually, he might be able to kill double tentacle Cole Ken. We'll close it out. And that's one thing that she does still have. Uh, some of her mix-ups have been slowed down or toned down a little bit. Uh, but she still has that great damage off the double tentacle combos. And Bunch pulled that off masterfully there. Nice pressure as well. Leaving a gap there in between the shoulder just in case Arturo is foolish enough to press a button. Big jump in. He's in. Oh, too far for that. And Arturo looks out and gets a little bit more neutral again. Overhead. Good blocks. And a good punish as well. Critical. He spends it. Anime. You know, I don't know anything about Monster Hunter, but I assume that this is supposed to be a Monster Hunter outfit. Let me know, guys. Does she have a special Monster Hunter triple S weapon that you have to grind for forever? Breath of Fire. Okay. It's funny because I play the hell out of Breath of Fire and I still have no idea who the hell this is. Which Breath of Fire is it from? I'm not curious. 1 2 Tenko. From Breath of Fire 2? Really? I played the hell out of that one and I don't recognize her. That one was cool too. That one they went really crazy with the fusions. Like you could make four characters become one super powerful character and all that stuff. Actually, that game's mad fun. Anyway. Mm. Tenko, okay, doubling up, looking for that knockdown. This is this is actually looking like a good game for a bunch. Oh, he can punish in the critical. He got it. That's gonna kill. The final attack. That was nice. All right, good stuff, Bunch. So Bunch takes game number one. We'll see if Art chooses to stick it out with uh, with his character, or if he opts to choose Dawson. Either one is probably acceptable here. 
And it looks like we're going to get a character switch, perhaps. Let me get to the back of the line. Or try to, if I can. There we go. All right, so 1-0 for Bunch. Uh, Doc 1790. Yeah, I mean, we've been saying for a while that we were going to do this, bro. We've been tweeting about it and letting the homies know on the Discords and the Facebooks and all those places. Saturday, yes. Uh, thank you. That's a good point. Uh, we also wanted to do Grand Blue Fantasy Versus on Saturday. There's not a page up for it or anything like that yet. But uh, please look forward to it, all you Grand Blue guys that want to play. I know people uh, today were like, well, there's no Grand Blue Spooky. And they posted sad faces to me and things like that. But don't worry, guys. There will be something soon. So you guys stick around and just look out for news on that. Round one. All right, so bunch one zero. Now try your luck against my Dalsim. I fought many a Karen in my time with this character. Mummy alive. You know, I once dated this girl, and I was like, hey. What movie would you like to go see? You can watch any movie you want. And she said she wanted to go see The Mummy. Okay, I don't think that we did it very long after that. Because she made me waste my money watching The Mummy. That movie sucked. Who saw The Mummy, guys? For real, tell me that that movie was not trash. Anyway. <laughs> see? That was trash. The Mummy. What were you, what were you supposed to do about any of that? <laughs> Alright. Round number two. <laughs> oh, no. All right. I'm talking about the original. The original Mummy. That movie wasn't that good. See, you guys are misremembering because the new one was even worse. Nice combo. Welcome to the corner. Over that way. That's where the corner is, my friend. Allow me to show you. Damn, he even went for the late Tenko. Stun is looming. Anything will stun. Oh, he definitely mashed buttons. He did not want to get stunned. Stun, stun would be horrifying. Instant overhead setups. Nope, you can't press a button. Gale. Gale. He's got Corona breath. I'm worried, guys. Oh, my God. Please run away from the Corona, David Bunch, right now. Oh, my God. That was wild. There was just stuff everywhere. I'm not sure what he was supposed to do. Though. Dalton win. <laughs> that was pretty cheap. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So, so one one. Uh, the good part about that was that uh, it, you know Bunch got an early game in, which helps a lot because if you're behind against Dawson, it's even more annoying. So now it's a one one scenario, which means that he still can try to find ways and force his mix up on Art. Uh, the main thing is that man, Art zoning was really amazing both those rounds. We'll see what Bunch can do to turn it around this time. This ain't that sim meta. This is the, the Arturo meta. He just got a god like Dalsim. Makes me think of the Street Fighter 2 movies. Fight fair, Dalsim! It's like Honda with like the most terrible American voice. Fight fair, Dalsim! Stop teleporting everywhere. I can't catch you because I'm the big fat sumo guy. Anyway. Oh, that's a link. Disgusting. Let's see. Show me your best combo. Okay, that was a pretty cool combo. I've seen cooler. Bouncing fireballs just because. That was a nice target. Oh, we got the lockdown. Double Tenko. Koken, he spends it. He's still in a good position. Throw. It's getting dangerously close to a double Tenko kill. Shoulder. Minus two. And Arturo fights his way out of it. Uh, Calico Fox. Yeah, New York is, is kind of on lockdown right now. Like many other places. A lot of the big cities are on lockdown. Even Vegas is on lockdown. Crazy, because they say that Vegas never closes. Well, they're fucking closed right now, my friends. Anyway. Arturo, big lead in this round. That, that almost worked. That would have been a godlike sweep. But instead, all right, with good buttons. Back throw, very clean. Damn, how do you get in on the long range buttons? Oh, that's how. Okay, spends two, activates. Oh, that was a setup. Okay, I see. Cute. Mm, get in the corner. Man, Art is really good at poking out. He feels the moment. Okay, trigger setup. He's got to watch out. Oh, now it's bad. Actually, that was a good jump in. He's trying to stop him. Yes. Good idea. Obviously, he wants to stop Art from setting off the rest of the trigger, too, because once he has one of those available, 
Uh, those are what start his really good uh, Tiger and Gale mix-ups that he loves. So far, very good match. Nice jab string. Nice response. Cole Ken. Actually, I don't even care who wins now. They're both actually playing really dope. Ooh, late shoulder. Nope, you can't jump at me like that, my friend. As much as you want to. I know you want in. I know you want to get close because you're the fast one. And I'm the slow, lanky one. But you're not getting near me right now. Oh, beautiful. No follow-up, though. But still keeping on the pressure. Man, he's trying so hard to get a clean jump in. And so far, R has defended himself. But, you know, it only takes one. All right. Trigger two setups. Ouch. He's going to get another one. Whoa, safe. Safe. He's safe. Okay, that's good. And a trigger has expired for NYC Furby. Tia Saban. But uh, he's still in danger, actually. One, one critical R combo. Mm, not going to happen. Good spacing. Dolphin. All right, good one by T.S. Saban. Good games. That was well played. Good stuff to Bunch also for making it actually really close and competitive. That last round, if he had found a way to land that critical arc that he had stuck, that was even or even he might have been able to find the kill. Yeah, Art, Art's godlike at zoning, guys. You guys already know. His zoning tech is out of this world. His anti-airs were pretty on point, too. Bunch was very close to finding some good jump-ins. All right, so we're going to continue on. Uh, that was the end of winner's top 16. Uh, so in the top eight now, let's see if I can see the top eight bracket. That would be sick because it would make my life way easier. Sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. So forgive me if this doesn't work, guys. But it would be nice to show the cool, fancy top eight bracket. Meow, 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 meow. Well, it looks like it's not going to work. So everything's filled in. Oh, well. Uh, anyway, so IDOM has to face Space Boy. And Profit will face T.S. Sabin. Uh, that's everything that will be going on in the winner's bracket. Uh, in the loser's bracket, it's going to be Tanachi versus Hoji. And a Shine versus the winner of... Let's see. Shine will face the winner of... Uh, Bunch and Adnan. Okay, so Bunch will have to fight another Dawson player. Although he just fought that particular matchup. So that might help him a lot, actually. Man, props to Adnan. He did pretty well here in the loser's side. Sure, okay, cool. All right, guys. So real quick, guys, uh, before we continue on, just a couple of things. Uh, we're going to continue with the next match shortly with Top 8, uh, and I hope that you guys will enjoy it. Before that, there's a few things I want to talk about. The most important one, of course, is the Match Arena crowdfund. Uh, guys, you guys have really been out of this world today with supporting, and I'm sure that Henry Sen and everyone else loves you and is really happy because of it. Uh, if you want to jump in and you have not seen the match, you know, just yet, this is a website where you can crowdfund the tournament today. Half of the money will go to Henry Sen slash Next Level, and the other half will go to the top three players tonight. Uh, the promo code is SAVENOBC, and with that promo code, you can actually add money to the prize pool absolutely free. And that's thanks to our sponsors at G Fuel. Thank you very much, G Fuel. We appreciate you. Uh, the top donators tonight were Lee, who gave $100.50, True Terror RTA. Thank you, True Terror. Uh, Powerful Antoine, who gave $51.69, and he wrote, titties okay thank you Antoine at least you put the 69 to make the comment appropriate that works at least thank you we appreciate the support sneaker ninja who gave 50,050 cents and Mick Moblin thank you guys very much we appreciate it uh, we are going to have Brambu Fancy versus soon as well so look out for that uh, last but not least, before we continue with this next match, I just want to say to make sure to check out the homies at Adorama XP. We do appreciate the support tonight. Twitch.tv forward slash Adorama XP. Adorama is your source. Your source for all the goodies, uh, cameras, tripods, lenses, lighting, laptops, and computers. All the gear you need to put on a beautiful production. It's all thanks to the homies at twitch.tv slash XP and adorama.com. Make sure to check them out, guys. And thank you, of course, Adorama, for your support. We love you guys. All right. I think that's pretty much it as far as people that we need to plug. So I think we're okay to, to jump into this next match. Let me just jump into the lobby and make sure everything looks good. Uh, yeah, okay, I guess we'll do that, guys. So really quick before we continue, we're just going to have a, a brief